hi everyone and welcome back so in couple of videos coming couple of videos we are going to explore the concept of uh, microservices so we will talk about microservice as a whole and the microservices in nest.js so in nest.js the concept of microservices is little different and it is providing the the nice and the cleaner way of integration with the with the small small microservices on the tcp layer okay that is something different but first what we will do is we will talk about our simple services which we are writing till now the rest based services so let's say this is our rest api we have created and it can be graphql also now we most of the time we are connecting with uh, either database either some other particular source let's say till now we have talked about uh, postgres database right it can be a mongo or it can be a mysql these all database can be possible right so this is like you are connecting to a particular database server now how you are spinning up you can use the docker for creating all these things now another thing it can be another service like right we will also talk about how you can uh, have a small integration with elastic service elastic search right and then we can have a rabbit mq here or any other amqp layer where you can send an event uh, and then that event is being subscribed by someone else okay now apart from this what else we can think of is rabbit mq elastic search any particular database and it can be any particular service let's also talk about redis right so we need to talk about how we can actually simply integrate with redis okay i'm writing rest apis i want to store the key value pair in the redis how can i do so this will this will talk about a different aspect like uh, using redis as a cache client or using internal cache of uh, nest.js to store or to cache the api responses right so that we will talk here and here we can also simply talk about how we can use the event based communication here we can talk about event based communications by sending a message to the, the, the rabbit mq and we can also think about enhancing our search the pagination and the search we have done in the last video with the help of elastic search and this we are already doing we haven't talked about mongodb but it's not a different for mongodb we are going to use a different module and it's it is going to be the same okay so you can connect to any particular service now some miscellaneous topics we are going to talk about is okay nest.js also has its own internal cache right that is called memory caching which has some ttl value okay and you can actually cache the response of the avis okay then we can some talk about some generic topic is about authentication and authorization like rule based authorization in no, no uh, in nsjs okay so this is my plan for coming set of videos we'll start with elastic search okay so elastic search we need to just expose our docker compose and then we have elastic search container here okay this is kind of a external running service and we already know that you, we can communicate to the elastic search through the http interface okay this is http interface this is elastic search nest js service okay from graphql rest api you will talk to elastic search service that will talk to elastic search by for adding search adding the index i mean creating the index adding the document and then doing the search on the documents which you have populated in the elastic search okay we will also talk about elastic search uh, with the pagination i mean sometimes you, you are getting the records but you also want to implement the same set of paginations which we have done with the help of postgres okay so first of all our focus will be on this particular area okay i will just highlight this one then we will move to uh, nest.js mongodb okay this is our next focus and what we are going to talk about is simply how you can communicate with the mongodb database writing the apis and then 
we will talk about some more miscellaneous topics here which is like okay authentication and authorization it can be with postgres or mongodb or anything authentication and role based authorization with the help of mongodb nestjs and uh, type of mongodb nestjs that's it right we will have some kind of a role and we will do the authentication and authorization this is second then we will explore the redis thing so that is important like how we can store uh, how we can do the key value pair store redis and then in memory cache of nestjs okay in memory means you don't want to use redis you just wanted to use in memory uh, storage of the node.js process to store these key value pair and then there is one more thing is how to write a cron scheduler in nestjs you wanted to execute something like scheduling a task right this is a kind of scheduler we will write that is a simple utility but we'll just explore it how it works and how we can customize it so there are a lot of miscellaneous topics i mean we can also talk about some on the graphql graphql side okay that we will address some more aspects on the graphql layer so this is our you can say the agenda of coming set of videos and i will be covering the, them in a particular section okay first section is let's say elastic search with the search pagination and all setting up the elastic search integration of elastic search with the nestjs and then setting up elastic search container okay creating the index defining the mapping of the index and then applying this the optimal search so we can get the quite good set of results all these POCs, you can call them as a POCs, but I'm providing you the, the GitHub repository so where you can also extend that and play around with that. Once we are done with these things, we will talk about Nest.js microservices using the TCP layer, okay, where you don't need to worry about request response cycle. You do the request, that's it. It's like a command pattern and the event pattern using Nest.js microservices. Okay, I hope this is clear. So let's start with Elasticsearch setup. We will create the index for the post collection okay we will create the index and then we will dump some records and we will do some search simple search and then search with the pagination offset okay uh, thanks everyone